Hi everyone, this is Sultan with Rex Team, and in this video, I'll show you how you can generate WooCommerce product feed for your Facebook catalog real quick. Now, in this video, I'll use our plugin WooCommerce Product Feed Manager uh, so that you can easily create your product feed without any hassle. So, let's get started. Now, as you can see, I'm in my WordPress dashboard. I already have my plugin installed and activated, it's right here. All right. So if you don't know how to get the plugin, you can just uh, go to wordpress.org and there you can uh, just search for WooCommerce Product Feed Manager and you'll get it. Or you can come to our website, rexthem.com and there you'll be finding our plugin in the plugins menu. All right. So now once you have the plugin, uh, if I click on product feed, you can see it's taking me to this page. Usually this is the page where uh, all the feed you generated are listed. All right. Now to create a new feed, you need to click on add new feed over here. Okay. So once you click on that, it's going to take you to this page where you'll be creating a brand new feed for your Facebook catalog. All right. First, you need to name the feed. So let me just name it FB1. Now you need to choose how many products you want in the feed. You can either choose all the published products you have in your WooCommerce store, or you can use a custom filter. Uh, to choose particular products depending on conditions or you can choose the category or tag filters to in include or exclude products that are in particular categories and tags for this video i'll just uh, include all products all right the next are the other basic options refresh interval determines uh, if you want to schedule an update for this feed on a regular basis based on any changes you make to your woocommerce shop so let's say you you change the description of a certain product uh, so if you set up a refresh interval after a certain time, this feed will automatically be updated with that uh, change data. All right. Uh, next is the include variable parent product. Uh, in case you want to include the parent product of variable products into the feed, you can enable this. But usually Facebook doesn't require that. So I'm going to keep it as no. Uh, include product variations is basically uh, if you have variations. Uh, those variations will be included as individual products to the feed okay so this is how uh, you actually submit to facebook you submit each variation as a separate products so i'll just mark this as yes uh, next is include variation product name if you enable this the variant term of variations will be added to the title of the product for example let's say you have a t-shirt with three colors red blue and green if you enable this each of those t-shirts will have uh, the color added to the title for example t-shirt red or t-shirt blue or t-shirt green okay so i'm just going to keep it as no for now uh, include parent product for group products if you have grouped products you can submit it as one single uh, parent product into the feed now this option will allow you to exclude any hidden products you have in your woocommerce shop and this option is to add any utm parameter if you want to include it now in the merchant type select facebook and once you select that, you can see these are all the mandatory fields that you need to submit uh, to Facebook to upload your products. Okay. Now, most of these are already configured. You can see that this is the attribute name. This is the value. These are already assigned except for uh, the last two, the brand and the Google product category. All right. So now uh, Facebook requires you to submit either a brand name or a GTIN or an MPN. So here we have included the a brand field. If you need to add the GTIN or MPN, you can just add a new attribute to add that now for the brand if you have saved it somewhere in your database you can just click here and look for it over here all right or what we usually do is we use a static value because since uh, most shop owners are manufacturers themselves they have just one brand name for all products so you can just change it to static and give the name of the owner all right so let's say we are a company called rex so i'm just putting uh, the brand name as rex okay and now for Google product category, you need to set up category mapping. All right. If you see right here, this is the option over there. If you have set up category mapping according to Google's categories, then you can select it from this list. And at the very bottom, the category mapping list will be there. All right. So if I've created one, you can select it from the, the very bottom. And once you update the feed, the feed will include Google product category. Uh, according to the category mapping you set up now to set up category mapping i've created a separate video earlier i'll be including that in the descriptions below uh, the category mapping uh, feature works the same way for every merchant you just set up the mapping and the uh, plugin will find out which category your products are in 
and according to that they'll be mapping the correct values under the google product categories all right so right now i didn't set up any category mapping for facebook so i'll just leave it blank but usually you need to make sure you have created one so that you submit the google product categories this is mandatory uh, to submit a google product category or recently they have added an option to submit a facebook category which they have a fixed category list themselves whichever one you submit it's acceptable now once you're done setting this up you can just click on publish and uh, the feed will be generated okay now if you want to see how the feed turns out you can click on view feed and it will open up the feed in a new tab you can see it has all the necessary data for every product okay and if you want you can download the feed as well uh, now this is for XML uh, format if you choose CSV format you won't be able to view it but you can download and uh, view it in an, any spreadsheet program so the next step to do is to copy this link all right and uh, schedule a fetch within uh, Facebook commerce network to upload your products to Facebook uh, so that you can start promoting your products there all right so as you can see this is really quick and you didn't have to do any hard work at all setting up the category mapping is the only thing you need to spend some extra time on which doesn't take much time either all right so that's it that's how you generate a product feed for Facebook using WooCommerce product feed manager I'll be leaving a link below to our website so in case you want to get this uh, plugin and uh, as I said earlier I'll also be leaving a link to the guide to set up the category mapping so that in case you get confused you can watch that video and set it up all right so in any case if you get confused in any place uh, you can always knock us in your support so i'll see you in my next video until then take care